Hello everyone, today I'm doing a Bath and Body Works haul on candles. They have their two for 20 still going on now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I purchased these a couple of days ago. But my power went out um, last week. I didn't get it back until late Wednesday night, so there was a lot of running around to do. So today I'm hoping to get just a few videos made to, catch, to play catch up. But anyways, like I said, the two for 20 is going on now, and rumors have it that it ends tomorrow on Labor Day. So you've got until tomorrow, maybe, I'm not sure, because the store did not say that to me. When I went into the store, I asked the clerk, and the clerk said, we don't know when the sale ends, which that kind of seems odd, doesn't it? But I heard from somebody else online that the sale ends um, after Labor Day. So you've got until tomorrow, possibly, to get your two for 20 uh, sale on candles. So if you want candles, I would go today or tomorrow and try to get some up just in case the one online who works for Bath and Body Works is right and my sales clerks and my Bath and Body Works are wrong because they said they don't know when it ends. Which like I said, I really find that hard to believe. I was kind of um, excited because I went in with like six survey coupons knowing I'm not gonna use them all right now because there's many more candles that's going to be coming out that I want. But what happened is, is when I was ringing up my candles, the first three, I asked the sales clerk, when are they coming out with the candle, the big candles that they have right now for the testers? You know, like the hot chocolate, the pumpkin caramel latte and all that. And she said, oh, we have them, but we don't, we're not allowed to put them on the floor yet. But she said, if you want a couple, I can give you some. So the one... So two of them that I w was going to purchase, I wanted to exchange because they were ones that they've already been out last year. It's just I grabbed them because there wasn't much that I really wanted on the floor of the newer ones that they had out. So when she did that, she had to do it as a return. So I got a survey coupon with that return. So for two, for two purchases that I made, two separate transactions, I su should say, I ended up getting three survey coupons because I did a return. So I have six, again, survey coupons. I might have seven, I'm not sure. So I saved those all for candles. But anyways, I was a little disappointed because I didn't get the fragrance event flyer. I got, again, our sweetest candles of the season with the 20% off your entire purchase. I do know the fragrance event, I believe is September 17th. Um, you would get, if you go to the fragrance event, you will get a tote with cupcakes on it which I wish they made the cupcakes in pretty colors they don't they just have cupcakes you know kind of just silhouetted cupcakes they would have been nice if they made them in pinks purples all these pretty cupcake colors but still a nice tote and then they give you three tests of the new Christmas scents so I definitely want to get that so I'll link below if you need to make a purchase like if it's any purchase or if it's a ten dollar purchase or not to get that on the 17th at the fragrance event so, now that I've rambled on, I'm going to let you see what I got, and I'm not going to go too much into a deep description because I spent a long time talking before this video, before I actually got into it. So, the first one I got was Woodland Berries, and I was surprised that I liked this because I don't really burn berry scents in the fall or winter, it's more in the spring and summer, but this one, it has the crisp like the crisp berries that you would smell in the fall if you were outside around an area you know that had berries on the on the trees that it's just got that crisp berry smell it's not a, a sweet smell it's a very crisp smell with some woodsy scents to it you know some woodsy tones to it and I like it and the woodsy tones is not too overpowering because I'm not an you know one that likes earth sense too much but this was a perfect balance so I'm very excited to try this out next I got s'mores and the only reason why I knew I liked this one is because I bought the tester and I did melt it in my tart warmer and if I did not do that I don't think I would have purchased this because on the cold scent throw I just smell some marshmallow not much chocolate I don't really smell a s'mores but when I melted the tester in my electric warmer, I could smell the chocolate. I could smell the marshmallow, a little hint of graham cracker. So I do like this. It's just the cold scent throw kind of threw me off a little bit. So 
If you're not sure about a scent, pick up a tester and either burn it in your bathroom, you know, in a small room, or if you have an electric tap warmer, pop it in there, you'll really get a better feel of what the scent is going to be like instead of trying to burn this little teeny candle in a large room. That's how I knew I liked s'mores because I was kind of disappointed when I first opened it up. I'm like, this really doesn't smell like chocolate or anything, but when you melt it, it does. Next, I got apple crumble. And this is a bakery apple with crumble. It smells exactly like apple crumble. Don't have to go too much into a description with that. It just smells so yummy. Perfect for the fall. Perfect. Next, I got pumpkin caramel latte, and I love really sweet, sweet scents. And with this, you get more caramel with a little hint of pumpkin, but I love caramel scents, and I don't know what this is going to... I know I did melt this with my test. Yes, I did. And I did pick up more of the pumpkin when I melted it, but it's still more of a caramel. I should say caramel pumpkin latte, seriously, because it's more of caramel, but it's nice, sweet, gooey perfect for the fall. It almost reminds me of maple in a way. It, it depends on how, you know, certain certain um, sniffs there I get. Sometimes I'll get a maple scent. Sometimes I'll get that more caramel scent. Sometimes I'll get a little bit of pumpkin. So it's kind of an interesting scent to me, but I do like it because it's really sweet. So if you like caramel, pick this one up. Next, of course, this is the one she got me. She got the pumpkin latte for me and the cinnamon sugar donut because I wanted to get my hands on this one. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is exactly like a cinnamon sugared donut. You've got the cakey mix, uh, the cakey scent to it, the cinnamon and the, the sweet sugar. This is so yummy. I, they really did an awesome job on this scent. Awesome. Again, into sweet scents. And sweet, it's not like a cinnamon stick or anything like that. It's a sweet cinnamon with sugar and the, the cakey dough batter from a donut. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And lastly, I had to pick up one from last year was Pumpkin Patch because I really enjoy the scent. Smells really good. Smells like a pumpkin. It smells like a pumpkin that you just carved. That's what it reminds me of the inside of a pumpkin that you just carved. And I mean, you have to have some kind of pumpkin come fall. And I just love this. I don't like the creamy pumpkin. And I don't really like the sweet cinnamon pumpkin because I just want a pumpkin scent. I don't want any sweetness to it. I just want pumpkin. And this is awesome. I'm so glad they decided to have this come back because I was kind of afraid. They, was not, they weren't going to bring back the pumpkin patch candle. I mean, how can you not? That is like such, that should be just in their line forever because it's amazing. So that's my candle haul. Like I said, I got six candles for $40 because always look at the bottom of your receipts if you purchase in the stores. Online, you will not get them. Some do, I guess. Some people do, but I never did. Um, at the bottom of your coupon, There'll be an area that says survey, and you call in, answer a few questions, they give you a number, and you get $10 off of any $30 purchase, and they do not expire. So you can just keep collecting them up, into, and I use them only for candles, because I use like the 20% off, like right here I use a 20% off for some fall fragrances that I want for my body. Candles, you must use those survey coupons. It's like you're getting one for free. You spend thirty. You you it comes to thirty dollars. You use your coupon. You get three for twenty. So you're getting one for free. So you can't go wrong. So I am going to go back to another Bath and Body Works and see what they have for more scents because there wasn't everything that I wanted out there. But I'm happy with what I purchased so far. So let me know what candles you are you have already purchased or you're looking to purchase. Like I said, I'm not sure if tomorrow is the last day for the two for twenty sale. The clerk wouldn't verify it with me, but someone online who works for Bath & Body Works says it ends tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, so if you want your 2 for 20 candles and you got your survey coupons, I would at least go out and get six just to have them on hand. So that was my haul, and um, everybody have a wonderful scented day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.